My brothers and sisters, on the 27th of September every year, we celebrate the feast of Saint Vincent de Paul. Saint Vincent de Paul was uh, acknowledged by the Pope, by the Church, as the patron of uh, charitable works. He founded two congregations. Uh, first is a congregation of the Mission, and the second is a congregation of the Daughter of Charity. But uh, we should remember before he founded before he founded the two congregation, he already founded lay organization, which is Confraternities of Charities. Now Confraternities of Charity uh, became uh, AIC, is a international uh, charity whose member, which member is uh, about 250 uh, thousands and this uh, AIC also uh, become one of the first uh, member of the United Nations to uh, to force the concern toward the poor toward uh, social problems so who is this man St. Vincent de Paul who is this great man who influenced uh, not only charitable organization, lay organization, but also hundreds of religious congregation. Vincent de Paul was born on the 1581, uh, exactly 15th of April, uh, and uh, the year of 1581. He was the third son of uh, peasant families. As uh, the third son, St. Vincent de Paul is also a very diligent and intelligent boy. That's why his family uh, put much hope on Vincent on that time to uh, mobilize his family to, to, be a, have, to have a higher status, social status. So, even though not uh, usual on that time, they sent Vincent to study at school. And Vincent studied uh, brilliantly so that uh, a judge, a rich judge at Dutch, the city near Poi, uh, the village where he was born, uh, and trust him, his children, to entrust him to be a tutor for his children. This uh, rich judge, de Comet, uh, Monsieur de Comet, also recommend Vincent to be a priest. And because of his recommendation of the time, Vincent was ordained priest. After the ordination, Vincent is uh, still bringing the ambition of his family, his uh, peasant family. He would like to have a career in the priesthood so that he can mobilize his family from the lower status to higher status. But this ambition bring much uh, failure to Vincent. And because of these uh, failures, but also because of his association with uh, many religious men and women, Vincent also uh, his uh, ministry, social chaplain of the Queen Margaret. So uh, Vincent also ministering to the poor. Because of this uh, influence, Vincent uh, at last have his conversion, not from a sinful person, but from a person who much 
make any uh, any works to reach the ambition of the family now he entrusts himself to God Vincent make a private vow to uh, give himself wholly to God but in concrete ministry which is uh, preaching the gospel to the poor following his master and Lord Jesus Christ who has uh, a mission Evangelisare Poperibus Misit Me God sends me to preach the gospel the good news to the poor Vincent took this uh, uh, vows consequently, faithfully he from the royal family of the queen's uh, Margaret of the queen Margaret he asked to be transferred to uh, have more access to the poor so uh, Pierre de Berul bishops and then cardinal on the time sent him to a Paris near Paris and then uh, he he served there as a good Paris priest with uh, very simple people but uh, Pierre de Berul asked him to go to be a tutor to the Gondi's family, to, the, to their children. But Vincent still uh, being faithful to his foul, even though he, his main work is to be the tutor of the Gondi's, Gondi's family, especially their children, he spent his uh, time also serving the poor in the Gondi's estate. On that time, noble family like the Gondi, the Gondi general, the Gondi is a chief of the uh, uh, French Navy. So they have a huge land on that time. This is time of, uh, this is a time for, uh, of uh, feudalism, you know. And Vincent served uh, especially the poor, uh, poor person in the Gondi's in the Gondi's family. But if, on, even that is not uh, make Vincent satisfied with uh, his life. So he escaped from the Gandhi's, from, from the Gandhi's uh, family and become a Paris priest in Satyong Le Dome. At Satyong, he founded uh, the first a lay organization, Confraternities of Charity. The time, uh, a parishioner told him that the, uh, a whole family of poor people got sick. And Vincent in the homily, in the homily, preaching about this poor family, and so many people uh, come to visit this poor family, and giving donations, especially foods. When Vincent uh, also visited this uh, family, he saw there are so many foods. So he asked some parishioners to see that. Uh, he said that these uh, many food you know, will not help this family because after, after several days, this food will be corrupted. And uh, this family, if we look at the condition, they, are, they will not be uh, uh, healthy on that time. So some of his uh, parishioners organize themselves and take in turn to visit this family and uh, bringing medicine and also food. And this is the, the beginning of the foundation uh, Charity Foundation, Confraternity of Charity. Uh, seeing the, the good works of this organization, Vincent thought that it will be good if every parish have that kind of organization. So 
he wrote a handbook spiritual handbook of the, this organization and asked acknowledgement from the from the church and he got uh, white white uh, fast quite quickly the recognition from the church uh, the diocese of Lyon in France and after uh, he got the acknowledgement from from the diocese Vincent asked also uh, his follower his priest every time they gave popular mission to uh, to have uh, to found it that organization in every parish is the 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 give the popular mission thus uh, the charitable works become spread out through uh, france and vincent always uh, being res- responsive to the providence after he founded this organization Uh, as also Madame de Gondi asked him to preach the, the good news, the gospel to the poor, Vincent also founded Congregation of the Mission. Then, uh, after several years, he also, uh, together with Louis de Mariac, his partner, saw that the confraternity of charity, ladies of charity, are not really serving the poor directly. So Vincent and Louis de Maria then founded the Daughter of Charity. Yeah, on that time, is the uh, mostly there are village girls who, who are willing to, to serve the poor The village girl usually they are very strong, very diligent, and they found the daughter of charity. Uh, the congregation who become very large until now. I think they are the larger congregation, which uh, uh, have about twenty three thousand members around the world. They even reach on certain time 35,000 members. This congregation also influence so many congregations, especially during 19th centuries, where uh, we know there are so many poor people because of the industrial revolution. There are so many congregations founded with the inspiration of St. Vincent, with the inspiration of the Daughter of Charity. We are happy to have St. Vincent as the uh, patron of the charitable work, and we, uh, we can be inspired by him, especially in today's world, uh, today world, where uh, we become so individualistic, so autistic, so insensitive to the problems of our neighbor, especially the poor, St. Vincent is uh, really the patron and can give us so many inspiration to be uh, sensitive, to be responsive to the poor. As St. Vincent remind us, let us love God My brothers and sisters, let us love God, but let us our love, uh, let us love Him with the sweat of uh, in our brows, also with the uh, sleeve, with the hand ready to serve. Not only loving God with uh, prayer, but also with action, with uh, real, concrete serving. Mm-hmm.